The other day, while opening the garage door, I noticed an unusual sound. See if you can hear it. The track has shifted, and every time one of the bearings goes by, it makes a little sound. And so, of course, the question is, can the track either be moved this way to meet this one, or can this one be slid in? And to answer that, we need to look at the support and see how the tracks are held in place. As you can see, there are nuts here that hold the bolts in place, and this support has a lot of room for it to go back and forth. So I should be able to move the bottom track forward or the top track back. But in looking at the top track, I see it, it's also mounted up here and that cannot be moved. So my choice is to move forward. Of course, if we move the rail forward, is there enough clearance between the door and the jam here? So one way to determine that is just to stick something behind the gasket here. And if we look, we can see that there's a fair gap between the door and the actual jam that this gasket covers. We verify the same thing on the other side. And indeed, there's enough of an opening there that we should be able to slightly move the door forward. Here's a close-up look of the other track and we see that, again, there's that same offset, which is why there's noise from the bearings. Fortunately for us, we have the second garage door that we can compare to that doesn't seem to have this problem. And when we look at it, we see that the rails are straight on on one side and pretty much very close together on this side. So what we have here is not correct and we need to make some adjustment so that we can eliminate the noise and the additional wear and tear on the bearing wheel. What I've decided to do is loosen these two fasteners I'm going to slide this forward enough so that it's flush on this side. And if I still have a bit of a gap here, I may try just a, a rubber mallet to move this rail. It seems like maybe it's slightly also twisted out. But in order to loosen these fasteners, I will also need to loosen this fastener. I'm going to leave the bottom one alone so that the rail pivots. On that one point I'll probably loosen it because I don't want to really mess up the entire alignment for for this track so I want to have that one reference point using a short screwdriver and a 11 millimeter for the fastener on the other side I'm going to loosen the two top screws and then the middle one and then I'm going to try to reposition the rail And as you can see, I got a lot of play here. Okay, I like the alignment. And now I'm going to just tighten it down. Much smoother. Here's a close up. Now it's flush on both ends and that's what we want. We want that roller just to go past this smoothly as if there wasn't a break in the track. These were uh, very tight whereas the one down here actually wasn't, was fairly loose but I tightened them all so because as the door comes through you know it might oscillate a little bit and it has weight to it so I want this to be firm. So now I'm going to try the same thing on this side where we have this huge 
offset. And I don't think I can make it up because it, it's, it's smooth here. You know, in reality, it's perfectly aligned. And the problem is that this piece of metal is probably bent out or that one is bent in. There, I think you can see it's more pronounced. So we're trying to minimize that as much as we can. I'm gonna see if I can just knock that into position. What I did was I pounded on the bottom rail right here on the back spine of it so that it would force this to bend in. And if you look at it, it's so much better than before. See, there's, there's just a very minute offset. And so basically we've solved the problem without deforming the metal, except that we made it come in just by pounding right here. And I made sure that uh, the fasteners were very tight because I didn't want the rail just sliding forward. And as you see, it's still even on this side and it's comparable to what we have here, which doesn't have any issues. So that's a quick and easy way. If you're having track misalignments, kind of things to look for, you know, see if they're loose, because then it might be just as simply just realigning it and tightening them down. Or uh, if you can, loosen the fasteners and see if you can just realign that way. You sort of have to see, check to see what's fixed, like in our situation, this top rail is fixed. There is no mo I can't create any space or take away any space by moving here because I can't move here. That's fixed. This support bracket gave me lots of room to move forward. Of course, you want to make sure that you have enough clearance between the door and the wood. So in this case, there's a gasket here and there was about half an inch or so, so I had room to make some adjustments to move the door that way on that side and on this side all it really took was just pounding on this lower rail to get it in shape and uh didn't change any of the alignment as far as the door goes so now we're going to close it and see if it makes any noise Smooth as silk. And that's the way this garage door should sound all the time. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.